Hello again. Choose. Master of Strategy. Hmm. Hexaghost again. Trouble. Big trouble. See you, see you later, Sleeko. Toodaloo. I'm gonna zoom through the start of this one, I think. Sure, why not? And I'm thinking something like this path. Not sure about that, though. That would necessitate taking more combats, then. Okay, more fights. We can transform our colorless cards into violence. Now, there's something I haven't thought to do. Rude? Not that bad, though. That's not a kill, though, huh? Dang. Take 12. Here I thought I was going to get through this fight nice and clean. Not quite. Not quite. Alright, clearly the mistake I made last time was not clicking on Dark Embrace. Won't make that mistake again. Ooh. Ornamental fan. If you play three attacks in one turn, we'll get block. Very good with anger <clears throat> and lots of card draw, especially. And I'm going to do something a little unusual here and make anger the first upgrade. I think it's going to see that much use. But what about the second upgrade? I guess that can be Bash, huh? Cool, we get both. I like it. I haven't enjoyed taking the pain in the Warp Tongs that much. It's not worked out for me when I've tried it. I tend to find it better to just take the immediate upgrade, no curse whatsoever. Just feels better. Okay, but we do need to play Dark Embrace, right? That's gonna happen. Guess we don't need to. Like this. Not too bad. Although we might take another hit uh, after this.
Not too bad. Score a pentagraph and a pommel strike. Also great with the ornamental fan here. Don't see much need for rupture. Sever Soul's kind of interesting with the Dark Embrace. Don't usually take that card, though. How do I feel about Strawberry? I like it more with Pentagraph. Take some Wax Elf here. Why not? Why not? And we end up healing from this combat, actually. Pretty good performance. True Grit. We have a Dark Embrace already. Having a way to exhaust targeted cards seems pretty spectacular to me. Uh, and now we get to fight the Burning Elite, which is a Lagavulin. Hmm. Bash on turn one. I guess we just play Bash Pommel Strike. <clears throat> Call it a day. This is a decent Blessing of the Forge. Although not great. We should definitely use the Blessing in this fight. I guess so. Exhaust this. Keep the upgraded strikes. They're pretty good. Ornamental sa fan saves a little bit of health, at least. And I'm hoping even with minus two strength we can kill here. Just barely. We scored the Thread and Needle, additional plated armor each fight. That's quite good. And do we take a Clash? No. We don't take either of these either. Rupture, if we had the pain from the uh, Warp Tongs, could have been something, though. That would have been interesting. Not a whole lot here that is particularly important. I guess Inflame is a nice way to get some strength. Or I could remove a card. I think I'd rather just remove a card. I'm not afraid of Hexaghost currently. Maybe I ought to be. Maybe I ought to be. Seeing red's actually pretty good too, right? With the Dark Embrace, it's a lot better of a card. Sure. With the defensive set of relics, is, de is a defend better removed than a strike? I could see that being the case. Um, personally, with the Dark Embrace, I'm sort of in a corruption waiting room here, so I think all the defends will eventually be useful. I also have a general philosophy of, as long as you have at least one Anger, you can remove every single strike from the deck. But there's probably some short-term situations where we might want that strike more. Hey, at least we get to play the Dark Embrace this time. Although I could play three attacks for block. I'm gonna make the long-term choice this time. Overall, happy to see these three again. Hmm. 
Is it ever dexterity potion? No, because it's headbutt the anger, right? Yeah. Excellent. Chubbs GG, thanks for the nine months of support. Big ups. Very clean fight. We pick up a red skull? Okay, that's kind of amazing going into Hexaghost. That'll solve all of our Hexaghost problems that we might have had. Definitely get past the fight now. Which means we can skip these and I'll take the explosive potion, I suppose. For some more damage. I also want to take a little bit of damage in this fight. At the end of this combat, we're going to heal for 6, which means we would heal for uh, up to 44 currently, which would deactivate the Red Skull. We want Red Skull to be active at the beginning of the Hexaghost fight. So we need to take 3 damage here. Oh, we have Pantograph. Oh, um, you know what? Never mind. I don't need to take that much damage. Alright, let's just be full health for Hexaghost and then get absolutely slapped on turn 2, I guess. Classic Panto problem. Take that. I only slightly regret my choices. Block 19, take 5. Or block 8, take 4. Draw one more. And there it is. Corruption. Keep the defend cards. Why you keep the defend cards. We might wait a little bit before actually playing Corruption against Hexaghost here. I'm gonna upgrade True Grit first. Kinda hoping this turns into a Sneko run. I always bet owner uh, Aozir. Partially for entertainment value. It is also mathematically the, the higher expected return. And morally superior. I'm gonna reshuffle without all of these, huh? Hmm. But my face... But my face. And much better damage over time this time around. Is it time to play Corruption? Probably. Thank you. 
GG. Clobber Hexagos with no problem. And we get a Limit Break, a Bludgeon, or a Fiend Fire. I like Dark Embrace Fiend Fire quite a bit. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. Exhaust our hand, dealing damage per exhausted card. Very powerful. Hey there, Luminescent. Thanks for the good luck wishes. I hope so. We've already had a pretty good uh, Watcher run. And I'll keep the these two potions. Show me this Neko. Come on, one time. Boop. Easy. It's not even up against comp uh, compelling other options here. Give up the gold, give up the potions, or become ultimate snack. Easy choice for me. I am the Sneko Eye. I am the Sneko. That means we're going to draw seven cards per turn with random cost. But if we play Corruption, all the skills will still be free. The only real downside is that Anger kind of bad now. But we can fix that. Max two elites this act. Interesting. Hmm. Choices, choices. Wait, how many rest sites do I want? I can get a lot. Any important upgrades? Not really, actually. I guess Fiend Fire is kind of important. Most of the rest does not matter. This upgrade's irrelevant, this upgrade's irrelevant, this upgrade's irrelevant. These are all energy upgrades. And the Sneko randomization makes that non applicable. So, whatever. I guess that means going maybe this way. I don't have to go to that shop, but I probably want to. And we get four upgrades. Where's my Searing Blow game? Pommel Strike, also an acceptable upgrade. That's true. Let's see, this does seven times eight. That is 56. If I play any of their card first, it's only 49. How many seeds are there in total? I remember hearing it was on the order of quadrillions of seeds. Many, many seeds. So that uh, 10 to the, what is that, 10 to the 12? Lots. No, 10 to the 15, that's right. A trillion is 10 to the 12. So you can play this game forever. If you want to, yes. Wait, what? Oh, there was nothing to draw. I was like, what happened? <laughs> These are all of my cards. I understand now. Hmm. Well, I probably shouldn't get rid of Strike then. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yourself. Exaxes. Well, that was concerning. We really ran out of steam there. These cards ain't it, though. I want a bludgeon or an immolate or an uppercut or something like that. Something big and bonk powerful. Bonk. Carnage is pretty big. That'll do. Also, conveniently exhausts itself if we don't play it. Excuse you. I 
Thank you. We do have damage left. Good. Now, where's my Dark Embrace? Carnage. Draw Carnage. Play Carnage again. Draw it again. Play it a third time. Get Ornamental Fan. With a performance like that, we could go to Carnegie Hall. Hmm. Do I want this Blood for Blood? I think that's basically the same thing as Carnage. To the shop. <laughs> ah. To the shop. You can never have too many shrugs when you've got a uh, corruption in your deck. Don't think we want heavy blade. <laughs> we do want to continue to remove strikes. Maybe even anger could go, but the fact that it's self-duplicating is still a bonus in my eyes. Is the cost reduction completely negated by confusion for Blood for Blood? Not completely. If we take damage while it's in our hand, it'll get discounted. Or if we retrieve it from the discard pile after taking damage, that could also matter. Like with Hologram. Although rarely do you have Hologram in an Ironclad deck. It could happen. Secret weapon, or secret technique, uh, or violence, rather, would also matter somewhat but only somewhat it's gonna go carnage headbutt strike not play fiend fire here choose one card to play and choose wisely better be a good card I'll kill this nerd. Take six. That's fine. Yoink. And now all of stuff is free. Every stuff. Dark Embrace does seem kind of important. All right, fine. Perfect. Another excellent performance. Good stuff. Let's grab an armaments. Why not? More skills, more better, as far as I'm concerned. And I guess I'll take a skill potion. We're about to go into an elite fight. Let's keep these potions. These are exactly elite fighting in Act 2 potions. Onwards. Okay, looks good so far. Corruption turn one against these nerds is definitely what we want. Uh-oh. Probably have to Liquid Memories Fiend Fire next turn then. Let's upgrade it now. Hmm. And no Dark Embrace. 
Can't say I'm happy about that. Keen fire will be seven per card. I think we just use all the potions. But also just liquid memory is the carnage here. That way I still have the fiend fire. Actually, I like that. Like that quite a bit. Perfect. Fiend fire fuel. Good. Get a Mercury Hourglass, dealing three damage to all enemies every turn. Always welcome. Always welcome. Rupture now has a plus on it, but I still see no reason to grab it. Skip that. You can't confuse me. I'm already confused. There's a big damage card for us to play over and over again. Immolate. Deal 21 damage to every enemy. Actually, make that 28 damage to every enemy. And put a burn into the discard pile. Idle worker, thanks for the prime sub. Please go collect some wood. Thank you. Do we want an Akabeko here? Actually, okay, skipping this. And Ottomer, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Yeah, that could, that could be broadly referencing a wide different array of games. I was mentally picturing like a, a worker placement uh, Euro game, a board game. Like uh, a Greek or something, but insert your own reference there as appropriate. Let's upgrade this armament. Make it every card in hand. Not that many upgrades actually matter. Let's look at all the premium ones. Oops! All block cards. Oops, no block cards. Hmm. Dark Embrace, you're late. Nonsense. Oh, and you're still alive, huh? Well, shoot. Please don't kill me. Oh no. <laughs> you son of a gun. Uh-oh. Well, I can always rest. We also have Pantograph. Mojira, thanks for the 14 months of support. Ow. It's free, though. That part's nice. You've only made me stronger. And then weaker again. Bobby 
slam? Corruption Dark Embrace likes body slam, but Sneko doesn't. So no. Let's upgrade this Fiend Fire. I think 43 health is plenty for this fight. And that, since we have Red Skull, taking a little bit of damage is not even a bad thing. Also, I have um, Immolate turn one. So these guys are hosed. Bash, Immolate, Headbutt the Immolate, play Fiend Fire. Guaranteed kill next turn. Boom. Nice and short. Potion Belt means we get to keep Elixir till the late game. Is that a good thing or not? Depends. It depends. Scaling the wall, you notice a wall covered in the writing of Ancients. Get to remove a card or upgrade all our strikes and defense. With the armaments, I say just remove another strike here. Get rid of all the basic attacks. Still maybe want to get rid of Anger as well. As far as upgrades go, I like Pommel Strike Plus. I like Carnage Plus. to pummel. Versus the champ, it's very much possible for us to run out of block if we go corruption early here. I think maybe I should skip corruption the first time. Or we could play it now as another option. I'm gonna skip it for the moment. We might not have quote-unquote scaling in this deck, but we have something more important, which is tons of damage immediately. We can play it now. Do your worst, puny weakling. Carnage, I guess. Seems fine, though. Hmm. This part's worrying now. Good news is, we're not vulnerable, frail, or weak for this, so it's only 22 by 2, and that means we can just tank it to the face as necessary, which is apparently quite necessary. Ow. Oh. You can also use the elixir to get rid of these burns if need be. Why is the champ sword yellow? I imagine it's made out of the same gold as crown is made of. Not a good material for a sword. Black. Cool, we didn't even have to use the elixir. Now we're rich. We can have a second corruption if we so desire. 
I personally like Exhum a lot. Get back any one exhausted card. With Corruption, Exhum basically means choose any skill in the deck to be able to play again. Scaling is overrated. That's right. Who needs it? If your baseline is high enough, certainly we don't. Cursed Key is one of the ways that we can get that last curse we're looking for, ideally in duplicate. Might as well take it here. Whenever we open a non-boss chest, obtain a curse. And even if it is a bad curse, we can just exhaust it. Otherwise, we're doubling the strength of potions. That could be pretty good. I like having four energy per turn with Sneko Eye. It's a lot more reliable than just three would be. How's it going, Wondrous Drake? Welcome, welcome. Glad you can catch the stream for the first time. How do you do? Probably want a shop that's after the chest. And I'd like to take a lot of events on the way to that also. If we can find a bonus treasure chest, that would be sweet. So that means less elites. Hmm. We still need to beat the heart. Easier said than done sometimes. Also, most events is definitely not a route that hits an early, or that hits a shop after the chest. Hmm. It does feel to me then like we want to start over here. From here, we can continue along lots of question marks, or we can veer into this shop. We'll think about it. But either way, we start here. This does 70 damage. So close. But I can exhume Master Strat, play that, then Fiend Fire. That does kill. Spicy. Once again, who needs scaling? Two Dark Embraces is better than one, as my grandpap used to say. If you have a Normality Curse in hand and you exhaust it, you are no longer limited in terms of cards per turn. But note that having the Normality in hand may prevent you from exhausting it. we don't want. We begin to fall, lose Headbutt, Corruption, or True Grit. I'm sorry, Headbutt, you as a common attack are not stacked up to True Grit plus and Corruption, that's for sure. And here we can buy potions. I've got a potion bell. Give me the full three. 
attack speed dex. Lots of block options. Interesting. I'm going to keep this array. All defense, no offense. Seems like we've got offense kind of sorted out here. Let's recall now. So, we choose either events. I think I want to see what's in the chest before a shop, so I'm going to go this way. Get the extra elite here. That way, if there is a clumsy, there's a faint chance we get to do Dolly's Mirror shenanigans, which would be the hope. made a mistake. Looks like we're fine. Power pot's quite good. There's an uppercut wanting one of those for a while. Still don't have a reusable way to apply weakness, so let's take that. And I'm gonna dip the speed potion for a power potion. Keep the double dexterity potions. This could be really important for the hard fight. And I'll go ahead and upgrade that uppercut immediately. Make it two and two. Is it assumed that violence will just turn up? Yeah, essentially I'm focusing on the harder to get card. And then if we if we get the clumsy first, then I can focus on violence. Um, but I, I'm expecting violence may just happen along the way. Now we just gotta transform it. Violence often does just happen along the way. That's, uh, that's true. Excuse you. Who said you could have this garbage? Bad nemesis. Now, give me a shrug. Secretly Darklings. All right. Dark Embracelings. Sentinel, if this card is exhausted, gain two energy. Don't mind if I do. Sundial, every three times we would shuffle the draw pile, gain two energy. I'm going to go ahead and buy this at full price because I think it's exceedingly useful for this situation. We're often able to cycle the deck once we're down to just a few cards. Uh, and being able to play those cards over and over again would be real helpful. Yeah, the, the rare and elusive Sneko Infinite, question mark. And I'll remove the doubt. We'll let the mastery dreams fade away as this run clobbers through the endgame.
So now we just go infinite, essentially. Seems like it. Seeing red, I will also not take a fairy in a bottle, I don't think. That's a lie, I'll take one. five cards and randomize the cost of cards in your hand. Also pretty dang powerful. Let's grab a flame barrier. Take this over the dexterity potion. I think that's quite useful. And let's upgrade the flame barrier, I suppose. Could have also upgraded the sentinel, I think, quite reasonably. First step. Slime Eater is here. He's gonna get punched. A bunch. A bunch of punch. I think we go Seeing Red Fiend Fire now. Although that would lose Pummel Strike. Am I okay with that? Yes. We do a big chunk of damage. Full block the first turn. Second turn, we want to get set up here. Doesn't look like that's happening, though. Just Dark Embrace Immolate. Iffy. That means we're getting hit next turn for quite a lot. Yep. That's bad. Take a little bit less. Still quite a lot of damage that we take. We even draw a burn. Ow. Ow. But there's no need to fear. Panagraph is here. And now this boss is absolutely getting destroyed. Shmi245, thanks for the tier 1 sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. these burns come from. Terrible. May need to use the elixir here, unfortunately. Burns are getting out of control here. Although we have two turns to kill. Let's see what we can do. 
Slimed are actually really good. Sort of. Yeah, I think we're kind of toast if I don't use this. So let's use this. Problem is I can't play three cards. Doesn't matter, question mark? How much block is that? 20. No, that uh, immolate still kills. Easy. <laughs> Wait, the burns would hit me? Hold on a second. You're telling me if if I had no hit points and no aura calcum, that I actually would die there? I had no idea. <sighs> Very cool. I wonder if that means that regret also hits you in that situation. Fascinating. We had fairy anyway, of course, and a lot of health, but interesting that, that the potential to, to die exists there in that moment. I, I hadn't realized. We just go corruption immediately in this fight. Is the deck scraping by? Yes, it, it's only barely scraping by. It's not quite doing as well as we had initially hoped. In a few ways. But it is still getting the job done. I just need to not burn all my block cards needlessly here. stings when stuff costs three, though. GG, a two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread could be felt throughout the room is this. The heart of the spire, the source of all this immolation. So we should have no problem versus spear and shield. Versus heart, we are definitely worried about running out of steam, so to speak. Let's upgrade Cartage. Oh, one gold off from Power Potion. That stings. Several Soul would have been actually quite good, too. So we'd feel no pain. Unfortunately, we get nothing. Abacus would have been cool, too. But we spent our money on the Sundial. I don't regret it, either. Just how it is. Let's 
simply is how it is. Okay. Well, I like where this is going. Good. I wonder if I should fiend fire this one. I think I will. Kill this one first. Full health. And full potions. We get a Distilled Chaos to play the top three cards of the deck. If we want more exhaust, there's Burning Pact. I think that is probably the answer here. Give me that. To be used mainly on statuses here. So, can this beat the heart? I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to find out. Interesting turn one. Sad panograph noises indeed. Panograph denied here. Guess we power potion first. Power potion, what you got? Feel no pain. That's a, probably a no-brainer. Or a no-painer. I'll take feel no pain. Demon form would have been nice. play here. Thinking about doing Uppercut, Immolate, Dark Embrace, skipping Corruption the first time through? Questionable. But I've got good potions, so I'm going to do it. I could also reroll the cost of the things currently in hand. Worth considering. I don't think so, though. Hit first. Looks really good. What's on top? Not much. All right, then also use the Snicker Whale. Here we go. Really good turn for Flame Barrier. Armaments would make Dark Embrace cost only one. Or I can True Grit this Burn. Skip one Dark Embrace. Let's get rid of Burn here. Full block this, deal six times 15 back, 90 damage. And now we've recycled through the deck. Unfortunately, this draw is really bad. Bummer. Yikes. Catastrophic. Yeah, I guess we get Red Skull value. That's kind of nice. Of 
course, Breath Fiend Fire was the next card. Of course it was. Uh, we absolutely need to get that Corruption in play. Or we're going to die sooner rather than later. draw here. Even if it's bottom card, it was not, thankfully. Miss Dark Embrace again. Stings a bit. Sundial is here, though. On two, that is. So that's not really here. Okay, Armaments means we can play the Dark Embrace, and then we can play Feed Fire. Although that would mean losing all three of these attacks. Am I okay to do that? Maybe. Or I could just lose the Dark Embrace. Keep one of the attacks. No, we do need the double Dark Embrace for this to work. Let's just shut the damage. I'm willing to sacrifice here. This had better work. Do as much damage as possible before the heart attacks us. It's playing Immolate over and over again. Since it's our best damage. Um, do I have enough hit points? Sure hope so. Barry, save me! Easy peasy. Boom. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.